Hey, it's Rich here. Let's make a signet ring that would be in a good form factor for making a silicone mold and then an epoxy ring out of it. So let's get started here. We'll start by making a sketch on the vertical plane for the inside dimensions of the ring. So I'm going to select the diameter circle and click in the middle. And then I've measured my ring, so I know it's uh, needed to be 19.5 millimeters in the middle. So I'll hit enter there. Zoom in a little bit. <coughs> now we'll do the outside dimension of the ring, so we'll make another sketch. And then we're going to make this one just above the the center point just above the uh, the center point of the inside diameter. We'll click there and drag. And then we want to make sure that there's at least three millimeter, three millimeters at the bottom of the ring so that we've got a nice thick uh, area to cast the mold out of. So I'm going to hit click there. So now we've got a good chunky sized ring. So I'm going to click finish. I'm going to select that. That's the part of it that we want to turn into a ring and then I'm going to extrude it. One-sided, new body, and distance that I'm going to make it. And we're going to make it, it's going to be quite thick, but this is for the top part. I'm going to make it 21 millimeters and click OK. Now if we rotate around, you can see that we've got a nice thick ring, but it we need a flat top for the signet. So let's go back here. I'm going to create another line sketch. I'm going to click on the face of the signet, click on line, and then <clears throat> we want to make this so there's at least two millimeters, maybe a little bit more of um, room for the signet underneath the top. So if I click there, go straight across to there, making sure it's a horizontal line. And up here, this top part doesn't really matter. So we'll see, we just need to make a triangle. And this part here, we're going to cut off. So I'll finish my sketch here. I'm just going to rotate around just so it's a little more obvious what's going on. Click there. Click Extrude, and then this time we're going to cut because we want to remove that top part. So cut, and I'm going to just drag this back. And as you can see, after I click OK, it has chopped off the top of the ring to make a nice spot for the signet. So <clears throat> to, next thing, we got to make it narrower at the bottom. So I'm going to click over here on this side. And we're going to create a sketch again. Um, it needs to be in the middle plane there. And then line. We need to find the middle, approximately the middle of the sketch. So this is 5, 10, 20, 21. So 10 right there is the halfway point. So if I click there, I'm going to go up to the top, make sure it's completely vertical. And then I'm going to go to that corner, and I'll hit just so that right on the corner, I've got to come down here. And for the bottom of the ring, now we're this is just half of the ring that we're going to mirror in a second. We want it to be at least seven and a half millimeters. So this needs to be at least three and a half. So one, two. I'm going to give it a little bit more. So I'll go to there, and then click there. So, um, next step, we'll click OK, finish the sketch. I'm just going to hide the body just so we can select that whole sketch. And I'm going to rotate it just so it's a little more obvious what's going on. And I'll show that body again. What we're going to do now, we'll use the extrude function but this time we're going to intersect. So it'll only leave in what we've intersected. I'm going to make it symmetric on both sides. 
and then I can use it numerically or I can just drag and you'll see there we go we got half of the ring there so I will click OK again we've got half the ring we need to mirror this so that it's the full ring again so I'll go over on this side just so I can see that interior face and I go to create and mirror and it needs an object, so I'll select the object. Uh, we need to select the mirror plane, which is that inside edge, so I'll click on that, and then click there, that's the mirror plane edge, so I'll click on that. And we want to join, and then click OK, and boom. There we've got a nicely chunky ring. Next uh, thing we're going to do here, let's go to the front. Actually, we're going to go to the top. We're going to put a, the signet in there that we created from the logo. So I'll go insert, insert SVG. my computer and then <coughs> excuse me uh, let's see here I've got to look for the SVG there we go the RAM head click open I want to put it on this plane, and there it is. So we can drag it into place. We need to resize it a little bit to where I'm happy. <clears throat> so that's good there. And finish sketch. Next thing I want to do is extrude this. Let's try that one more time. Select everything. And then extrude. We're going to cut. And then, not sure why it's doing this, but we're going to make it two sides symmetric and two millimeters. And OK. So there we go. Last thing we need to do is make these edges a little bit less sharp. So I'm going to select that edge there. I'm going to hold down the shift button on my keyboard. Select that. Select that. Select that. Select that. Select that. And that. And then I'm going to click on the fillet. And I'm going to make it a one millimeter fillet. That's nicely rounded. I'm just going to select these edges here, holding down the shift button. And I'm going to fill at these by half a millimeter. There we go. Rounded all those edges. Last step, I'm going to save this. So file, save. Signet ring. And then we need to export it so that we can 3D print it. So go to File, Export. Um, make sure you select STL format, Signet Ring V1, and then click Export. And then it will go ahead and export it. So I hope that's helpful. And good luck making your own ring.